Hello, everybody. Happy Wednesday. My name is Leigh Bella Ralston, also known as Mommy Lay on the internet. It's time for another hour of learning here with Michael Stores and, of course, with Faber Castell USA. Um, thank you guys so much for sharing where everybody is joining us from. Uh, I, trust me, I was getting cold just reading comments where you guys are joining us from. So we have a lot of freezing people from New Jersey today. Hello, everybody. Colorado, believe it or not, it's cold here in Texas too. So yeah, and my house is really cold. We didn't even turn on the heat. So this morning I woke up to a 50 degree home, but I love it. <laughs> it's part of getting old guys. So, but I love being cold. Um, so hello everybody. I'm all bundled up here. So we have friends from Austin. I have a neighbor from New uh, Missouri City, Texas. I see New England. Oh, Judith. Hello from sunny Arizona. Hey, Heather, what's the weather there? Is it cold also or just very sunny and pretty? We have friends from California as well. Hello, everybody. Thanks so much for joining in. Who freezing here in upstate New York? I don't want to know. Ooh, 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 ooh. My, my arthritis is like aching. Just... <laughs> hearing all of you guys are freezing over there no 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 thank you um, today we have a fun class it's all about the 80s so we're gonna play in our creative journal um today is no hassle no pressure we're just gonna have lots of fun okay so the charm bullet journal is actually created by writer carol so it's a it's a system of planning, actually. Um, he wrote a book all about it. It's actually a wonderful book. It's a wonderful system. If you really want to follow that um, to be productive in life and to help you, you know, stay organized. Now, um, if you Google bullet journal, there's going to be a whole lot of like creative layouts, you know, inspiring, beautiful layouts from a very simple notebook, as simple as a notebook and a pen, you know, a black pen or a blue, whatever ink you love to use. But there's also a lot of the creative um, layouts that people are using as part of their creative outlet in life. So aside from using it as a planner, just the planner alone, they're actually using it as a creative outlet also to bring creativity in their daily life, uh, as, as well as helping them to be productive and organized, right? So, ooh, Carolyn said, it's 15 degrees in Michigan, <laughs> cold. <laughs> Felix said, same here. I am Felix the arthritis. <laughs> hey, high five. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Zoe, yes. Bullet journal. I know. So the notebook, this is the thing, you know, I get this question a lot. What kind of notebook do I need to use? Or what kind of marker? What kind of pens? To be honest with you, really, it, there's not a specific notebook that you need to use because it just depends because we're all different, right? So some people would prefer a ruled or a lined notebook. Um, I personally love square grid and a dot grid. Um, sizes, there's many different sizes. No, let's not get started with sizes because there's a whole lot of different sizes of notebook. There is a mini, there is a pocket, there's an A6 size, and then the B6 size, which is a five by seven. Um, and then an A5 size, which is what I have right now. Um, and so it's just really different. Now, to, to use the term bullet journal, we got to have like like what I said, he uh, writer wrote a book about it, and he talked about the whole system that you follow, um, which is actually he's not saying you should follow this system. This is the system that I'm using, and he shares how it works for him. And I think that's the most important part when it comes to the most important part to remember when it comes to bullet journal or any type of planning or any type of creative projects that you might be, you know, diving in. Um, is that do whatever works for you. That's the very most important part. And so today, like what I said, we're gonna have a fun, um, kind of like a, a nostalgic because we're gonna go back to the 80s. Now, I was born in the 80s, I was born in 82. So I was more of a 90s girl, really. I love the 90s, the R&Bs, you know, the hip hop, that's me. So 80s, I was a baby. <laughs> remember anything about the 80s then so for our friends here who are you know the 80s people maybe want to share something in the chat section we can all kind of like reminisce and look back um the fun part in the 80s but that is the layout that i was going to share with you today 
And so that's why I have this fun um, Faber-Castell text liner. These are highlighters. Uh, they're called text liner because, of course, it's different than highlighters. But it's Hey, Leigh, can you hear me okay? Leigh, I think that we um, we lost your mic. In the chat, can you guys confirm if it's just Lay or can you hear me? Is it working now? Yes, we are back. We are back. Okay, so I'm using my mic. You know what? Maybe I should use my headphones. I'm not better. Here we go. This is going to be better. Now I feel like I, I belong in the 80s because look, I'm using a very big headphone. <laughs> is there a way you can bring your mic a little bit closer to um, to us? It's, it sounds a little bit far away. We can hear you, but it just sounds uh, very far away. Really? Yeah. And my mic is not working for Oh, there we go, Lay. Lay, that's good. Whatever, whatever you just did was great. Maybe your mic's back. Put your mic closer, your, your bigger one. That's, that's really odd. It shouldn't be working right now. So that helps. Really? That, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Okay, it's really odd. Let me try one more, one more time. I'm going to try this one. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay, perfect. I don't know what happened. It's about the 80s. Oh my God, 80s have a curse or something. I'm just kidding. No, there's no curse or anything. All right, so because we are back, we're going to go dive right in. So I have my highlighters in here. I don't know why the colors are just so weird. Every time I look at Zoom, it's probably my Zoom screen. I don't know, but whatever notebooks you guys have, um, that's that's going to work. If you have markers um, that are fun colors, because 80s, you know, every time you look at like funky retro 80s layout, they're using like fun rainbow colors and all like that. Now, these are the highlighters from Faber-Castell. You don't have to have it, but it's pretty darn awesome. It's pretty inexpensive. They are now available at Michael, so you can get them. Uh, these are in a new black edition that they have. The black edition is just really, if you want to indulge yourself in art supplies, but don't want to break your bank, the black line of the Faber-Castell is really inexpensive. I think they're fairly priced and they're good quality as well. So I have here just the five fine grip. So I have fine, ultra fine pens in just plain colors. And I have the neon colors because... It's the 80s, so we're going to have fun. Yeah, they look really, really bright. They're super bright colors. They're like, but I don't know why this screen makes it like <laughs> oblivious bright. It shouldn't be this bright in real life. I don't know what's happening right now. All right, so we're just... So the highlighters, though, will not work. I don't know why, but it's called the Black Edition. However, the liners are not going to work on a black paper. So I'm just going to put it out there. So just in case you guys are looking for um, thinking of using this in your black journals, it's not going to work. So let us swatch the colors first so that we can pick something. Now, when it comes to, like what I said, creative journals like this, 
if you're going to ask my husband and my kids, what is the thing that I have over abundance of aside from markers, I think notebooks, I have so much notebooks. I have so much journals because I love journals. I love sketchbooks. So give me a notebook and leave me alone for two hours and I can just sit there and just play in my journal. So these are the fun colors of these highlighters. They are insanely neon. Zoom it in so you guys can see. <laughs> They're extremely bright. They're such fun colors, right? So I feel like the, the casing is just super bright, but the markers are just, you know, perfectly. Of course, the fluorescent colors are just going to be like that. And then I'm going to choose a black because we're going to create like liners and all that. Now, when it comes to 80s, I looked at research, some of, you know, different layouts like that. I've noticed that there's a lot of funky shapes and bright colors included. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, so any ideas, you know, uh, that you have also, share it in the comments section because that's what we're here for. We're all, we are all creatives here together and we're gonna have fun. So I wanna start with um, ideas when it comes to like cover page. A cover page is used to kind of like create your um, February, for example, you know, the next month is coming up. So February. So let's, let's look at, let's just play with ideas. That's what we're going to do today. One thing that you can try and do, we, or we can try and do, let's choose pink, orange, and purple. So three colors first. Flower power, Tina said. <laughs> yeah, they are just very intense, but uh, I will show you, they did not bleed through. So no bleed through. Um, but with any markers, I think it just depends on how much layer you put in your notebook, you know, when sometimes when it's like super soak in there um, and then the paper's like super absorbent, it's just gonna like swallow that ink. <laughs> That's definitely not the right term. <laughs> it's just gonna absorb that ink is what I'm trying to say. Scrunchies, Emma, I have lots of scrunchies. 80s triangles and jumpsuits. Oh my gosh, this is good. I love the comment section. If you guys are watching this on a replay, I'm sorry. It's more fun when you guys are here, right? Look at us. We're having like fun here and talking about the 80s. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to draw three, not really triangles. I'm not good at geometry. I don't think I passed that. I'm sure I did, but can't remember. Um <laughs> You guys are going to help me out with the funky shapes. It's like um, not so perfect triangles. So we're going to have sharp edges. So that's what, you know, um, the 80s example, like the shout out um, comics. Um, that's what I saw. Of course, the stereos, uh, big headphones like this. These are good examples. Sneakers, um, Converse. Yes. Shoulder tops, off the shoulder tops, really 80s. Oh, that's right, the Sabrina style. I love those. Leggings and leg warmers. I'm wearing leggings today because I'm cold. Okay, so we're gonna draw three because we're gonna create our cover. So I'm just gonna draw funky shapes, geometrical shapes. So it's really not a triangle, but it's almost, it's a geometric shape just like this. I'm going to fill it in. I start with my outline. I'm going to fill this part right here, just like that. I use the other colors. Shoulder pads, Nancy. <laughs> my mom used to have like big shoulder pads, like a general. <laughs> so if I made mine wider on top, maybe I should make this like wider here at the bottom so I can fill this space. So as you can see, like imperfect rectangles here. I'm just gonna draw this. To be honest, if we're doing a February theme, if you want like a love theme, then you, but still kind of like an 80s, or just an idea for like, for your months then this is a good idea, but just stick to the pink color, I think that would be good. 
Look at these bright fun colors. What is the lipstick color in the 80s? Is it red still? Like the classic red? Everything was matchy matchy. Hot pink, of course. Of course it was hot pink lipstick. That's right. All right, so now I'm going to use the fine liner. It's called the Grip Fine Liner. I love this here because I was, yeah, 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 yeah. I dropped it. I don't know if my camera's going to pick up, but it has, see this little grip thing like that? So it's going to help you out when you're holding it. So it's not kind of like, I don't know. I love big, fat, juicy pins, but they don't. They don't make any. Faber-Castell has a big jumbo pit artist, but they don't have it in um, fine liners because my arthritis. <laughs> so I hate it when it's like so skinny, but you know, I have no choice to use it. So the highlighters are really good for that. All right, so we're just going to add line and I'm going to make my line kind of like overlapping, not perfect, just like this. I love the socks with lace. I didn't know that was the 80s. I think back in the 90s, I was wearing that too. When I used to join like singing contests and my mom would make me wear like short socks with some pretty laces on. Oh, those are so pretty. Wait, I dropped it. Okay, here we go. So now we have this and this is where we're gonna put our month. So we're gonna letter F-E-B. Now, you guys know me when it comes to lettering. I'm really not, I am a script, I love script and I love bubbles. I love the cute alphas. Now, the 80s, the samples that I saw, they're very sharpie and edgy also, the letters. I don't necessarily like it, but we're gonna do it. And I'm gonna do it in like this, small. that and then we're going to make it thicker so I'm just going to add like extra width extra width and then we're going to fill it in I feel like the paper is getting soaked with lots and lots of ink I don't know how much this paper is going to take all the inks that I am laying down in here. We're gonna see. Now, if you wanna make your letters more bolder, please feel free to do that. Again, personal preference. <laughs> Nancy has a lot of ideas when it comes to the 80s. Songs, let's talk about songs. Man, the 80s. Some beautiful songs from the 80s. So here, I'm just going to add extra width, then I'll fill it in. So just like this. Can't beat Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston. Oh man, Madonna. Oh, the 80s. Like that. Like that. Yeah, we'll definitely look at the back of the page because this notebook is actually um, the bullet journal notebook itself. So it's from Leuchtturm, Leuchtturm, Leuch, Leuchtturm. I think it's German. Oh no, no, there's no bleed through. Yay. Bon Jovi, Brenda is definitely reminiscing. <laughs> And that's what music can do to us. We, I would like to apologize to the kids that are joining us today that cannot relate to our music <laughs> when it comes to 80s. But here's a very good advice. Listen to the old songs because it's a gem. It is a gem. You know, I trained my kids to listen to old music. So they are aware of these music that we are talking about, even back from the old standard music. That's what my kids love. So they probably kind of feel odd, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure they don't talk to their um, friends about Frank Sinatra. And um, But I think you guys should listen because it's a, 
it's a gem. Now look at this, this is fun. Now what else can we add that to make this look 80s? Now this is where those funky shapes, kind of like confettis. So I'm just gonna add like noodles. So what they're saying, like this, kind of like worm, like that. So almost like confettis, really, right? Funky shapes. Spirals like this, like that. That would make it zigzags, yes, that's for sure. Um, oh, yes, definitely one moment in time. Whew, that was a beautiful, that's a very strong. Was that, um, did Whitney sing that during the Olympics or? I can't remember exactly. But that was so beautiful when she sang it. So we draw zigzags. We draw, you can call it noodles. You can call it whatever you want. Now, another shape that was very popular is the lightning bolt, of course. So the way to do the lightning bolt, I mean, the way I do it, would kind of like this. So horizontal. I start with a very short horizontal or like a dash. And then diagonal down. So you start with a letter Z first, right? So a letter Z, and then go down again a longer this time. So now you have this. And then I go up, and then I go follow the same. Like that. That is a very weird thunderbolt. I'm going to fix it. Like this and then we're just going to do that so we're gonna run through different ideas when it comes to cover page and then we'll set up a weekly layout here as well just like that trapper keepers breakfast club <laughs> Yes, I. Th you know what? I think Lisa Frank were from the 80s, so the rainbows, right? And all that. I think you're right. Like this. And then you can, like, doodle on the side. Also, make, like, big headphones, like what I'm using right now. You know, add all those. Or just keep adding your geometrical shapes in here. And then instead of maybe maybe using a fine liner, maybe you can use the same colors. To me, the thing that when it's like an explosion of color, it's okay. I, I can take that. But personally, I want to limit my colors three to four. That's the most. Um, or else it's, it almost looked like just the rainbow threw up on my. But I think the 80s were like that. I mean, I was looking at different layouts and... I mean, it's just like that. It's like an explosion of the rainbow. So instead of using the fine liners, maybe you can use the highlighters as well to create those, you know, much larger shapes this way. So again, it might look odd because we're like going through some different ideas in here, right? So just keep adding like different our geometric shapes. I'm just going to add it so we can see what it looks like instead of the fine liner. So much larger, much bolder shapes in here. Like that. And then I'll try the fine liners. Put a limit to the three colors. And this, using actually the highlighters because they are like very edge. Let's see, oh, come on camera, don't be like that. Let's see so you can cover you can there you go a cover a larger space at one time like this and then use the fine liner to create the outline for it i think that's gonna look funky fun 
no, um, usually I don't pencil in. Now, I love using pencil when it comes to like crazy um, drawings or, but when it comes to my bullet journal, unless um, I'm drawing like much more complicated drawings and I would use pencil but if I'm drawing like shapes like this I would just probably just go in there with a marker kind of like embrace the imperfection I'm working on that this year <laughs> so work on that with me guys so that's fun it's always kind of like when it's overlapping your line is overlapping I think it's more fun and then we can do the zigzag this way see I feel like the using the text liner is much better look at that then you have that now I don't know if you are if you want to add like a um, outline for those zigzag shapes that we created here using the text liner but I think it'll be cool too These are definitely fun. Just like that. <laughs> Judith said, can we make a sweet character for the 80s? You know what? We can always make anything kawaii. As long as we add like a little cute face in there, it's going to turn into kawaii. We can make a, a stereo and turn it into a cute kawaii also. And turn it into our 80s little kawaii character. Like that. Those are cute. So this is one idea that you can try for your cover page. Now you can add, you know, the 2024 over here. You can make it like a registered trademark. Hit. Fun stuff like that. Um, and then you can put in the calendar in here if that's what you want. All right. Ideas for doodles. Doodles, doodles, because doodles are fun. Let's try... So another cover page idea is if you're having, you know, if you want to do like bold letters without using the, the imperfect shapes or the geometrical shapes, you can use the um, text liner right away. So we're just going to draw F. And then this way, your letters are already going to be thick. I'm going to try and use it like this way. Now this is funky. I'll try the blue. The, this color. Like that. And then use the, let's use the green. Like that. That is bright. Like super bright. And then I'll do the outline again with my fine liner. Now, if you guys want to use your, I'm going to do this differently instead of. If you want to use brush pens to make it much bolder, you, of course, feel free to do that. I think I like it this way. Just having the fun liners. I mean the the thin liners. Oops, missed that. So this is definitely different. I'm gonna do close this one. Close this. Yeah, that's fun. And then you can add your drop shadow in here. Let's use the purple one. No, it is nothing compared to the highlighter. See how bold the colors are? Yeah. I feel like the fine liners are like became so muted compared to these text liners, the highlighters. They're just bright and bold and daring and loud. 
Now, again, these are just ideas that you can try and, you know, use in your journals, but you can also use it to letter your name, to um, write a card, to design an envelope. You know, it doesn't have to be in your bullet journal. It can be just um, ways to fill in your sketchbook, you know, so it, it's just ideas, fun ideas that we can try. Now, to create a weekly layout, I would probably do something very, very simple. Remember the shapes that we created. I would normally do my weekly layout as it's either, not either, but most of the time it's vertical layout because my brain works much better when it goes like this, my list like this, instead of like this horizontal. For some reason, I don't, I don't know the reason why, but I just work better this way when I'm reading something like this. Um, so vertical layout is my favorite way, um, but then horizontal is also fun to do and very simple, especially in this um, A5. And also in this bullet journal notebook, um, there's like grids that can help you. There's like three grids that will help you to divide this one page over here in threes and this one in threes also. Um, yeah, I don't understand why is it every Wednesday my neighbor's dog decides to bark. Every day it's quiet, but every Wednesday, <laughs> maybe it's like cheering for us. It's like, hey, they have a class. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, skating. We're going to do some roller skates in here. Let's see if we can try it. So I'm just going to divide this by three. And the last box, we're going to try a horizontal layout this time because we've done a vertical last time we created a bullet journal layout. So today, let's try some horizontal layout. So I'm just going to do this. And then this one, my last rectangle box is going to, we're going to divide it for my Saturday and my Sunday. So here, when it comes to adding lines, I love using pencil first because for some reason, I don't know how to use ruler properly. <laughs> Okay, so I love this very inexpensive ruler from Michaels because it's see-through. So I can really see my dots. Again, dot grid is super fun because I can see where I need to add my line or if it's not straight. So I have some guides. Now I'm not going to add line here in the middle because this is where we're going to fill it. The middle part is where we're going to add our decoration. So I'm not adding, I'm not closing that in. Matter of fact, we might have to erase some of that um, lines later. That's why it's in pencil, right? So this one, you can choose to divide this into two. So you have Saturday and Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Pac-Man! Oh, Carla, those are going to be fun. Oh, disco balls are going to be really hard to draw or to color, but it's very easy to draw. <laughs> We're just going to have to draw a circle and put grid inside the circle. But that's going to be a fun class one day to create like a mirrored metallic object. And which is what we're going to do next um, next month. We're going to draw. I don't know if I have it here where I can show you. We're going to learn how to create a Mylar balloon. Love. So that's coming up next month. So. Um, I'm finishing the worksheets, or I believe it should be uploaded soon. So we're going to do that. Yeah, disco ball. That's going to be fun too. All right. So all our fun shapes, I think what I want here, instead of creating like um, just irregular shapes that we did, I'm going to choose different colors this time. Let's choose green, orange, and purple. I like this one. Or blue. What do you guys think? These four colors are fun. 
So we're going to make blobs this time. However, it's not really 80 much. Should probably really geometric objects. But I'm going to, you know what, because it's 80s colors anyway, and I like blobs. So we're just going to draw blobs like this. And we're going to fill it with some doodles. So watch out for the shape. Make, I mean, not the shape, I'm sorry, the size. Because we're going to fill this shapes right here with some doodles. And I think I'm going to use my Pit Artist pen, my Fudenosuke marker for my doodles because by now you should know that that's my favorite marker when it comes to lettering and doodling. It's the Fudenosuke. You know, I got this question on social media the other day. Why is that your favorite? What makes it your favorite marker? And I thought about the answer for a very long time. I'm like, why? What? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> why is this one my favorite? And I have an answer for it. Because the Fudenosuke hard and the Fudenosuke medium is like having both a brush pen and a fine liner all in one. So... The reason why I said brush pen is because you can create some thicker strokes. So you can create variety of strokes using one marker, right? So it's kind of like a brush pen, but the brush pen doesn't go very thin. This one can go very thin also. So let me see here. Look how thin that is. And then it can go as thick as this by using the body of the pen and also applying a little bit of pressure. So that's why I love using the Fudenosuke because it's like having two pens at once. It's like having a brush pen and a fine liner at the same time. We should make Pac-Man yellow, but my yellow here is like a fluorescent yellow. And then we can make the ghost too of Pac-Man. There's so much. You guys are so amazing with ideas. Then I'll make some geometrical because you know what? It's not going to be 80s without it. So we'll start with those. Like that. So it's like little confettis. Then I'll add the blue and add dots. Yeah, that green looks so weird in camera. I don't know. It has to be the zoom because on my screen, my monitor does not look like that at all. But for some reason, when it's through zoom, I don't know why the colors change so much. And I'll add my dots in here. Just like that. <laughs> oh, really? I don't. I don't think I can draw a unicorn today. I don't think it's too eighties. <laughs> zigzag shapes. Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta try the zigzag shape again. I'm not gonna use that green anymore because look how weird that is. It just looks so weird. It looks so odd. In real life, it does not look like that. I used the pink also. Yeah, using the, look at this, the highlighter makes it so quick and easy to create all these fun shapes. All right, now just start with our doodle. We gotta start with headphones. Let's look at my headphones. We're going to doodle this. You really like the green, Carmen? Oh, that I'm glad, but it looks so weird on my screen, but it's just like this fluorescent green. All right, let's do it. Two headphones. 
we're going to start with the band first, right? Oh, my head is here. So I'll start with that. I'm going to move my mic a little bit here to the side. All right, so I can. And I'm going to go zoom again. Oops, sorry. Opposite way. So we can start with either the band, which is kind of like um, a rainbow, like this, a frown, an upside down U, you know. So you can draw like this. An upside down U. Then I'll start with bringing it down some more. And then I'll add another side it. Close that in. Then I'm going to go draw another to thicken the band part right here. And then there's no such thing as wireless then. So we're going to have to start adding things right here. Because we're going to put a cord. Just like that. This. Next, we're going to draw uh, roller skates, <laughs> so it's going to be fun. It's, it's, it, the drawings are going to be so funky because I'm not using pencil. I'm just going to die right here and just <laughs> let's hope that it looks like a skate, roller skates. Maybe I should try another page. <laughs> but no, no, you know what? We're just going to do this. Uh, shoes. Sure. Um, okay, kind of like boots, so ankle high. I'm just gonna draw like this, so two diagonal lines. Draw like that. Oh man, it's looking like a Ronald McDonald shoe. And we're just gonna close it in. It has to be sturdy. Hello. Uh, we're just going to add the brakes on the back. Remember, it has those brakes. Oh, does roller? It really should be four, right? Two on each side. So we're going to draw one behind it. So just like have this. So you can see that there's a wheel behind that. Just like that. Huh? It looks funky, but you know what? It works. Right up. I'm just going to put some laces in there. And we're just going to put something like that. <laughs> that looks really funky. Look like Santa's boots, too. The brake is in front. <laughs> yeah, because you know what? I played with roller blades. <laughs> so roller skates are in front. Oh, man. Well, too bad now. <laughs> we're just going to add it in the front then. I'm just going to add it. No, that's going to look funky. We're just going to leave it like that. And then we're just going to add like sh like patterns inside. And then to make it look cuter, we'll put some stars in here. And we're just going to pretend that the brakes are in front. However, it's not. And then I'll put the same kind of like inside too. So it's almost like a zigzag. Thing that we're doing we're just adding patterns and so we'll have a theme across we'll just add those stars too like that you can add like musical notes a horizontal line bring down two vertical lines and then musical notes just like that yep 
<laughs> Judy said that's so hysterical. Yeah, the, I believe the roller blades are in the back. Yep, okay, the roller skates are in front, Ray. Well, you learn something new every day. <laughs> now we're going to draw stereo. So I think this one should be for my radio. So we'll draw a rectangle. Right? Okay. You want to draw two circles for your speaker. Like this. And we're going to leave a cassette tape in the middle. This is where you play music, kids. So you use it two ways, a radio and to play cassette tape. This is the CDs. Maybe you guys don't know what CDs now anymore. So I'm going to put R just like that. Put little two circles inside it. Just like that. And I'm going to add some little tiny dots inside my speaker. I'm going to add some texture in there. Just like that. And then the handle. <laughs> so, handle like this. And we're just going to add an extra width to it. So, following the same shape inside just like this Ooh, like that then you gotta have cords again nothing was wireless and there are cords like that plug-ins like that <laughs> and then we draw the musical notes again Yeah, I think this is what's so fun about the classes also. I agree with you, Judith, because I don't like the stuffy classes where it's like, this is what we're supposed to do. <laughs> I mean, I would not want to attend that because I'm like, okay, I did not learn anything. I want to just kind of like all of us to have fun and play, you know, so add musical notes, our stars, don't forget the stars. There we go. Okay. How he draws scrunchies, just wiggly lines, right? Yeah. Then the, okay, I don't remember the giant batteries. Carrie, you weren't born yet. How would you know that? <laughs> yes, the microphone. Oh my gosh, Carla, you're so amazing. We got to add that. All right. So drawing a microphone is kind of very um tricky because it can look like many things <laughs> so it can look like an ice cream sundae an ice cream cone so just let's do this but i think with the cords it's going to make it different that's is not that right so we're going to make it where and also i think it's thinner the body of the microphone will be thinner than the ice cream sundae i think the ice cream sundae would be like this so make it just slightly narrower right so we're going to put the mic here so much thinner. And then we're going to add a cord because, hey, hey, there's no wireless mic then. I remember it was so heavy, my mic then, when I used to join a singing contest. It was like a black and it was like so heavy. It's like this. Oh, that. All right. And then I'm going to add this for my cord. Like this, then. Stick it right there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add like crisscross. Belting Whitney and Madonna. Crazy for you. Touch me once and you know it's true. That's very 80s. Right? I want to with somebody Woo! I want to get with somebody ah, that's the 80s oh Judith you don't know I'm a singer <laughs> a record yeah we gotta try oh man that's a good one but I suck at making circles <laughs> we're gonna do this we're, we're just gonna draw a circle let's just put it out here so, oh come on make it look like a circle like 
kind of look like a circle. But <laughs> it looks like my pancakes. <laughs> I make pancakes. So is it just a smaller circle inside like that? Vinyl record. But now look, it's coming back. That's gonna. I don't think that's gonna look like a vinyl unless we put something here. Uh, let's just put another circle. Just like this. And then we can add the zigzag pattern inside. That is not looking good, Lay. This is not your best work. <laughs> so, this is, yep, Papa, don't preach. Um, no, I didn't go to music school. My mom is an amazing singer, so she passed on her gift to me. And so I was a performing artist before I learned how to draw and dive into this magical word, world of art. So I was performing in Vegas and performing in many different states and California and all that fun stuff. I was always on stage until, you know, I think I've shared this um, briefly in my past classes until my last kid was born. And I was like, okay, my, I think my back, my lower back starting to hurt from all those high heels for many years. Um, so I'm like, okay, time to divert my energy into something else. Um, so yeah, I think what's going to make it look like a vinyl because that is not the cutest vinyl record I have made in my life. We're going to have to make a, a record. And how are we going to do that, guys? Oh, this is going to be tough. Why do you guys do this to me? I'm not prepared. I am not prepared. Okay, so if I would draw from memory, my mom used to have this, but hers was a big one, though. But we're going to need that. <laughs> I don't know the terms. You're going to laugh at me. Do you guys know the term? The one that you put in there and then you put it. It's so bad. can't remember. I'm just going to look at reference <laughs> because this is not going to turn out so well. No, why is it 553 already? This is not fair. A jukebox, that's going to look so cute. That's going to be easy. Let's try that first because I can't think of a record. So we're going to draw. Kind of like how we did our um, headphones, but a big one. But I think I need reference for this one too. I don't think I've played enough with many different jukebox. Let's see. Okay. All right. I think I've got that. So we're going to draw something on top and in the middle. So we're going to close this in right here. Like that. No, that looks like a, well, that's a big toe. <laughs> Guys, what are we doing in here? This is not doing so well. <laughs> I'm going to have to draw another one outside. So what was your favorite song to play in the jukebox before? Okay, like that. That is just not, no, this is not cute at all. So this one looks, the one that I'm looking at, the jukebox, it has like a vinyl record in the middle. So it's really hard to make it like a vinyl record because unless I color it black. Does that make sense? Because you know it's vinyl when it's black like that. So you have to fill it in with color. And I like this look where it's imperfect and not thoroughly colored in. There are some items that does not look good when it's just plain doodle. <laughs> and my jukebox is definitely one of those. <laughs> this is not looking my finest. We're just going to add like little tiny patterns in here. Like this. And close that in. Why do birds 
suddenly appear. We're going to draw a bar right here, like that. This is where the speaker of the jukebox... It, this is looking like an alien. I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. My jukebox is looking like <laughs> a monster alien. I love rock and roll. Oh, yeah. Saw her standing there by the record machine. Now, I think I need to add crisscross here to make it look like a speaker. Mm -hmm, must have been about 17. Yeah, it looks like a robot alien or something. It's just, yep, yep, lay. I think we're going to have like a star in here. Now it, it looks like a monster alien that has a little star on top of its head. <laughs> Why? You guys, I was not prepared. This is not looking my mightiest drawing ever. <laughs> All right. We're, I'm just going to move past that jukebox. I'm going to pretend that. Ay, 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 ay. Looks like this was a glass part. <laughs> Maybe adding. The, yep. Nope. It does look like a robot alien. <laughs> Heather said, I'm just going to add the horns here. <laughs> The metal head in the 80s. Yeah, I had that. <laughs> you know what, Robin? I My husband would always, you know, tell me, you should do your live um, where you're doing karaoke and then creating at the same time. He's been very adamant about it, you know, to go on my YouTube and just kind of start doing that. Um, a treat for both, you know, music lovers at the same time, the creatives. Um, so I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'll think about that. <laughs> I will oh Carla I love Selena too yeah but but no I don't speak Spanish um though I do understand a few words <laughs> muy poquito okay so every time I would say no habla espanol just because I'm Filipino so I don't have that accent of no habla espanol <laughs> so I think they start talking to me in Spanish still and I say oh lo siento señora no habla espanol but then they start talking to me more in Spanish. So my daughter would always say, just say it with an American accent, mom. <laughs> so, yeah, but I would love to learn Spanish. I would love to, but I don't think I'm getting older. So I think I can do it anymore because my brain, you know, it's part of getting old. Okay, we have two, three more slots. Don't leave me here. We have two more minutes. We have to finish it for three. Um <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I hope that this was fun. Uh, I want to add maybe a smiley. Is that like an 80s thing maybe? Because it's like I'm thinking of something easy and fun to add in here. But um, how do you do a Walkman anyways? So just a rectangle like this and then have like buttons on top, you know, kind of like this. And then a spot for your cassette tape. Man, I felt so, even this was the 90s, but I felt so, such a hot shot having my Walkman when I was in the 90s with one red big for the record button. This is, this is just not my strongest thing right now. I don't think I was born to draw the 90s. We're just going to add the thing, and I'm going to add another headphones in here just to complete this spread. Like that. Like that. Okay, that works. Like this. I have one more spot. <laughs> Heather said, oh, yellow. I don't think I have the yellow. Um, I think I have just the gray one, but I felt so cool too. <laughs> so we're just going to add a smiley because I cannot think of anything to save my life. Um, what do I have? Yeah, we're just going to put in a smiley face. However, it's not super 80s, but I should have just added the rock on like Heather like this 
That is definitely not, you know, I'm going to make it a heart. This is more like emojis, more like 2000s. Boo. <laughs> so I'm just going to put stars across it. Just like that. But next week, though, if we are craving for some kawaii characters, next week's class is all about kawaii doodles. So don't miss it. It's a date, as always. I hope to see you at 5 o'clock Central Standard next week. I will be here. Bring your markers. Bring your A-game for this kawaii class because it's going to be really, really fun. However, we weren't supposed to doodle today, you guys, but we did it, and I'm so glad we did. I'm just going to date this. So for my dates, I usually just add circles like that. Or you can use some, we can use some geometric shapes. I'll put it on the right side over here, and I'll use different colors for my Saturday and Sunday right here all right i'm glad our mic didn't stop working completely so we're just perfect <laughs> although i'm wearing this cool headphones um thank you all so much for being here um i cannot thank you enough for making every wednesday so great for us here at michaels and faber Castell. uh i enjoy what i do and i enjoy it most with you here present and engaging and having fun with me uh, i hope that this class was inspiring it was super fun it was easy as you can see you know it was so relaxing also i hope you'll be able to try it in your journals or in your sketchbooks have fun maybe you know pick a theme like that 80s maybe next time we'll do the 90s and then 2000s as well well um we can do 70s too cool retro then definitely that's a retro um i'll do my assignments better <laughs> next time but thank you all so much if you had any questions that i was not able to um answer today you can find me on social media i would love to stay connected with you um i'm on instagram on facebook i'm everywhere it's at mommy lay i hope to see you there just send me a message you know i'm happy to chat anytime thank you all so much stay warm everybody please stay well. Um, see you next week. As always, stay creative and stay happy. Bye, everybody.